gaze stability and spontaneous nystagmus. While observing the eyes in the light, it is easy to check for spontaneous and gaze-evoked nystagmus by asking the patient to keep their head still and look at a target in front of them, about 30 degrees to the right and left, up and down. End point nystagmus may be present in the extremes of gaze, but it will be transient. True gaze evoked nystagmus will persist. Note the direction and nature of any nystagmus and which positions it is present in. With a peripheral vestibular lesion, the intensity of nystagmus should increase when the patient looks in the direction of the fast phase. This is Alexander's law. This patient has a right beating nystagmus present in all directions of gaze, but it is more obvious when he looks to the right. This patient has a subtle rebound nystagmus, which you can identify with gaze testing. When he looks to the right or left, he has a very slight but persistent nystagmus, which changes direction when he looks back to the centre.